Hello everyone and welcome to another haul video. I feel like I just did one of these but that actually must have been about two months ago by now because it was in August. Maybe it was early September before I uploaded it. But the last haul video I did was from my trip to London and this one is from Whitby so it's different. I don't usually buy this much stuff for myself all at once. It feels kind of weird but Whatever, it's another haul video. If you like this kind of video, thumbs up. If you don't, leave me a comment, say so. If you haven't watched the vlogs from my trip to Whitby, do that after you've watched this video. I will link to them. I'm here to just show you all the stuff I bought while I was away. It's mostly coats and jackets because I have a real problem with outerwear. I did buy some other stuff as well though. I'll show you. You're here to watch this video. I'm about to show you everything. Let's get started. You want to cuddle? Yeah? You want to cuddle? Okay. Silver's here to help with this video. Obviously, she needs to pass judgement on everything I bought as well. Her opinion matters a lot. It does. I need your opinion on all the things. Are you going to be good? Yeah? behave while I'm making a video. Okay. Good girl. Okay, the first thing I got that I wanted to show you guys was this little bag thing. It's from Alchemy Gothic and it's got like a loop so you can wear it on your belt. I mostly bought it as a camera bag, you know, because I carry my camera around quite a lot and I have a little belt thingy for it but it's not very, it's just not very cool. It doesn't look very nice. <laughs> and I don't know, that just seemed really, it's coffin shaped, I like that. Also, I was thinking I could attach this to the strap of a bag. Like if I already have a bag on, I can just attach that as an extra thing. Cause you know, sometimes you have to carry extra stuff that happens. Camera case, maybe pencil case, whatever I decide to do with it case. The second thing I bought is actually technically three things. Little things. It's these three little bottles of brandy. They're actually brandy. They're from the Transylvanian wine stall. These ones aren't wine. I mostly just was suckered in by how cute the bottles were. The red one is apple. The white one is pear. And the black one is plum. But all the bottles have these little metal wings on them. And that just absolutely suckered me in and I thought they were adorable. So I bought one of each and I don't drink brandy. I don't know anything about it, but I'm definitely going to try these and maybe they'll be nice. Maybe they won't, but either way, I'm going to try something new and have three cute little decorative bottles at the end of it. So that seemed like a good purchase. On to the big items, the big items, the larger purchases, the coats, the three different coats, jackets that I bought, two jackets, one coat, technically, if you're gonna get specific about it. Actually, I'm gonna say four. I'm gonna count the one I'm wearing just now because even though I didn't actually buy it at Whitby Goth Weekend, I bought it on eBay, but I placed the bid for it while I was away. It was one of those times where, you know when you find something on eBay and you just throw out a really low bid, just in case, and then you accidentally win it for way less than you thought it should be? That happened. On to the actual goth stuff that I bought at Whitby Goth Weekend. First is this short red brocade jacket from the brand Dark Star. Dark Star is a pretty staple goth brand. They're everywhere. Obviously this appealed to me because it's black and red and I tend to wear either black and red or black and green. So immediately it suckered me in. I really like the epaulets on the shoulder with the little tassels. It's a, got a very military feel to it, but fancy you know it is quite thin like it's not by any manner or means a warm jacket 
it's still lined and you know it's not the thinnest ever but it's not a winter jacket obviously but that's fine that's not what I needed from it second is this slightly more formal suit jacket looking this is from the brand Raven I really like this one because it looks formal and fairly normal from afar like you wouldn't look at it and immediately think goth jacket up close you can see the embroidery on it which is silver and it's just overall a really nice jacket it has slightly padded shoulders which is pretty cool I kind of like that these days also this jacket had already been discounted twice when I saw it apparently nobody liked it but then I tried it on and I really did so double whammy bonus for me it also has real pockets like quite deep ones a lot of goth brand stuff doesn't I don't know why a lot of goth brand stuff doesn't have pockets but it doesn't and last but certainly not least is this very long black tailcoat it is a black velvet tailcoat which I own quite a few of already I mean I own a lot of black velvet coats and a lot of tail coats and specifically a lot of black tail coats but I don't have one that's full length at the back you know this one is floor length and I didn't already have a jacket like that so it was a gap in my wardrobe and that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it <laughs> now because this one is so long and I'm in quite a small room here to show you it properly I'll film a little clip of myself wearing it outside Forgot what I was gonna say. despite being velvet this jacket isn't that warm it is not lined and it's not thin but it's not the thickest velvet but again that's kind of fine it's not what I expected from it I wasn't expecting it to be my new winter coat I mean I have my everyday winter jacket is a different velvet coat <laughs> you know how it is <laughs> goth life Jack what do you think of this silver what do you think of this jacket do you like it do you like it oh okay a leg silver's leg that's silver's leg oh silver's leg so that was a relatively small haul but it's what it's everything I bought while I was away I really do own more coats and jackets than any man needs but what can you do? Maybe one day I'll do a coat collection video and show you all the different jackets I own because it really is insane. I think the last time I counted it was 22 and that was not including capes. Leave me a comment if you would like to see my entire collection of coats and jackets in a video one day because I might do that. Let me know what you think of the stuff I bought while I was away. Don't forget to go and watch the vlogs from my trip. Also, if you have the time, go back a year and watch my vlogs from being in Tokyo over Halloween last year, because that was fun too. And I'm quite proud of those videos still. Give this, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching. I make new videos every weekend. See you next week. Wait up. What you doing? Bless you.